The latest numbers now from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 62.7 million cases of coronavirus around the world with at least 13.3 million of those right here in the U.S. and now 266,000 American lives lost. And Dr. Mm -hmm. Jen, this is mm -hmm. interesting. There's word that the CDC may be amending its recommendations yep. on the duration of time necessary to quarantine after you get a positive COVID result. Absolutely, and so our viewers are actually getting a, a first glimpse at this because it really has not been reported yet, but this is an example of how as we learn more about transmi transmission dynamics of this virus, these recommendations may change. Here's what we know at this point. The average incubation period of COVID-19, 5.2 days. That range goes from one day to 14 days. Most people we know start to shed virus on day three after exposure. Now the current recommendations are to isolate for 10 days since the onset of symptoms or when you send off that positive test. This is based on an analysis of data which show that people are generally infectious two days before. Newer data from SARS, from MERS, and from COVID show about five days later. So the CDC talking about amending the isolation period from 10 days to seven, mm. we may also see them shorten the self-quarantine period from 14 days down to something like 10. Again, this has not been publicly released yet, but we know that by a certain period of time, 90% of people will become uh, positive or will stop being contagious. So that's why they are probably gonna be amending these numbers. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.